Hello everyone, my name is Jackie and today I have another TBR for you because I want to participate in the next round of the Magical Readathon. Before that I have something quick to say. G's Magical Readathon is currently based on the Harry Potter books. But considering everything that Rowling has said recently on Twitter, a lot of hurtful things about the LGBTQ plus community, especially transgender people, the future of this readathon is a bit up in the air. I think at the moment she's planning to just redo the whole thing, um, make it completely her own, but at the moment she just lets us keep the one she already planned and makes it very low-key, but I was very excited for this readathon, not mainly because it's Harry Potter themed, but just because I like readathons, so I decided to still film this TBR, but to make it clear that I don't stand with JK Rowling, that I think she's wrong with her opinions about this. But I still wanted to share my TBR with you. I still want to vlog the next week because, and that's when this readathon will happen, I'm sorry. I'm a bit all over the place, but it's a mini readathon that takes place from the 22nd to the 28th of June. It's one week and this time it's Hogsmeade themed. So, G made us this beautiful map with 10 prompts and the only one you have to read is the first for the Marauders map, which is to read a book with a map. So for that I'm picking The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. This is the second book in the Montague Siblings trilogy. I absolutely adored the first one. It was about Monty and his best friend Percy. And Felicity is Monty's little sister and this book is about her. I can't wait to read this. I hope I will get a little bit of Monty and Percy in this book too because they are just amazing. And it's got a map of Europe in here that shows where Felicity is traveling. So after that the plan is you can basically um, visit every Hogsmeade shop you would like to. There are two ways to pick this. Some people just pick the shops they want to go and then look at the, at the prompts or you can pick the prompts you want and based on that you practically visit all the shops. I got a bit I'm a bit over the top, so I picked a book for nearly every prompt. Doesn't mean I'm actually going to read all these books because it's only one week. But since I have books for every prompt, I'll just go in the order that G numbered it. Which means the next stop is the free broomsticks, for which we have to read a book that's part of a trilogy, and for that I chose. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is the first book in a trilogy. Um, I want to listen to the audiobook for this. And Carry On is about Simon Snow, who is the chosen one. And about Bess, who is his roommate and rival in school. And it's pretty much um, Rainbow Rowell's take on fan fiction. And it's all based on Harry Potter. But I absolutely adore this book. I've read it a couple of times now. I've also already listened once to the audiobook and it's just so much fun. So I'm going to read this again. Also, all of the books I have on here are queer in one way or another because it's still Pride Month and I'm a bit extra with this stuff. So the next stop is Madame Pattyfoots and for that we ha can read whatever we want but we have to drink a cup of tea when we start the book. And for that I picked Way White Sun by Rainbow Rowell. I'm not sure if I will get to this book. Um, if I manage I will once again listen to the audiobook because that's the sequel to Carry On. So I'm not going to tell you much about this but I really like this one too and I really really want to read the last book. But it's not released yet so. So the fourth stop is the Hawk's Head and for that we have to read a book that's not the most popular which means under 10,000 ratings on Goodreads. For that I picked Date Me Bryson Keller by Kevin Van Vy and this is about a boy named Kai and he's got a crush on Bryson Keller and Bryson Keller is part of a dare that each week he has to accept the first person who asks to date him and date this person for the whole week. And no one ever specified that it could only be girls, so Kai asked him and it sounds really cute. 
it's not quite a fake dating trope, but it reminds me of that and I'm absolute trash for this trope. It's so amazing. So I think I'm really going to like this one. The next stop is Honey Dukes and for that we have to read a book with pink or green cover or sweets or baked goods on the cover. For that I picked Solitaire by Alice Ellsman. And I can't tell you what this book is about, really, because I picked this up because I absolutely adore Alice Oseman's Heartstopper comics. And this is the first book she ever wrote, and it's about Tori Spring, the older sister of Charlie from the Heartstopper comics. That's all I know about it, and that's pretty much all I want to know about it. Because I, I just want to read all of Alice Oseman's books, because if they're even close to Heartstopper, I know I will love them. Also, Nick and Charlie are playing a part in here, so you pretty much need to read this. But so that you have at least a little bit of an idea, I'm just going to read you the back. I don't ever remember not being serious. As far as I'm concerned, I came out of the womp spouting cynicism and wishing for rain. My name is Tori Spring. I like to sleep and I like to block. Last year I had friends. Things were very different, I guess, but that's all over now. Now they're solitaire and Michael Holden. I don't know what Solitaire are trying to do, and I don't care about Michael Holden. I really don't. So, yeah, from that synopsis, I, I really have no idea what this is about. And number six is Tsonkos, and for that we have to read a humorous book. For that I'm picking Magnus Chase and The Ship of the Dead, because by Frick Rounds books I always have so much fun. They are all just make me laugh and I enjoy them so much, so I think that counts for a humorous read. This is the third book in the Magnus Chase trilogy. So the series is about Magnus Chase who dies and become, goes to Valhalla and the gods of Asgard are preparing for a war in the first book. And Magnus Chase somehow lands in the middle of all of this. Also, if you think his last name sounds familiar, that's because he's Annabeth's cousin. So the Percy Jackson crew will be in there too, if you like that kind of crossovers in book series. So the next stop is the Shrieking Shack and for that the prompt is to read a horror or a thriller book and for that I still wanted something queer <laughs> and I googled a lot and apparently the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde is queer and a horror. That's at least what I heard, so if I manage to read that much, I will read that. And Dorian Gray has a portrait that ages while he stays the same, but the portrait also changes with every uh, ugly and evil thing he does. The portrait becomes more ugly than itself, so sounds interesting. I wanted to read this book for quite some time now, but I never got to it, so... If I have the time for that, I will pick that up. Next we stop at Scrivenshafts and for that the prompt is to read a book by an uh, author of color. For that I picked The Black Flamingo by Dean Etta. And this is about a boy named Michael who's a black gay teen and he becomes a drag queen called The Black Flamingo. And this whole book is absolutely gorgeous. It's written in verse and it it's just there are so many illustrations in there too and it's just really gorgeous and the audiobook is narrated by the author uh, himself so I kind of think I want to re listen to the audiobook while reading along. The second to last stop is the Owl Post and for that the prompt is to read a book that you got via post or the last book you added to your TR. So I picked a book that I ordered and it came with the post so I picked The Falling in Love Montage by Kiara Smith. Two girls, one of them is Saoirse, who just wants to spend the summer watching horror movies, uh, forgetting her troubles by kissing girls and getting over her ex. Then she meets Ruby, who is a rom-com fan and an optimist. But Saoirse doesn't want to get into another relationship, so Ruby challenges her to try a summer romance without the serious parts, which means only the cute, um, cheesy love story moments you get to see in rom-coms in montages which sounds really fun and the last stop on our trip through Hogsmeade is Dervish and Banks for which the prompt is to read a steampunk book and for that I don't have a book because 
I don't read steam steampunk and I looked a bit on the internet and I just couldn't find anything I was interested in so I don't have a book for this prompt but I already have nine books on my TBR and only one week so I probably wouldn't have gotten to this book either way. Those are all the books I want to read for the Magical Readathon, Hogsmeade and if you've read any of these books let me know down below what you thought but please no spoilers and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!